session, we will see how to write a Verilog code and the test bench for the D flip flop. D stands for data or delay flip flop and uh, we have told about a flip flop which is a sequential circuit and which has a memory element. So we will see with respect to the block representation of a D flip flop which contains the input D and the clock which is a memory element and we do have the output which is Q and Q bar. According to the functionality of the inputs and the clock, we will write the true table. The inputs are D, we will write the clock, inputs clock D. Q, Q bar and we have told that we would be defining with positive edge of the clock when D is 0, Q is 0 and QB is complement which is 1, positive edge of the clock when D is 1, Q is 1 and QB is 0 according to the functionality of the particular D flip flop. We will convert this into a very log code where we are writing the very log code in terms of the behavioral description style. A very log code. starts with the module followed by the module name let us define it as df followed by the ports list what we do have d clock q and qv d and clock are the inputs q and qv are the output input D input clock followed by the output Q and QB and we have told that in writing the particular very log we do have descri different description styles and we are writing the Verilog code in the behavioral description style and we do have register reg with respect to the output Q and QB followed by the sensitivity list which is always at the pause edge of the clock we will start the statements with begin if d equals 0 as we have seen d equals 0 then q equals 0 else Q equals 1. If D equals 0, Q equals 0 and if D equals 1 then Q equals 1 and QB which is a complement of Q, QB which is a complement of Q. So we are just starting the statements with begin. We do have the end statement and followed by the module what we do have we do have the end module so this is the verilog code for the particular deal flip flop and we need to see the functionality of this particular verilog code by writing the test bench
So we will write the test bench module D flip flop underscore test bench followed by the inputs and the output in test bench what we are told the inputs are defined by the registers and the outputs are defined by the wire input which is reg d and clock the output is q and qb and we are interlinking the inputs and outputs of the Verilog with respect to the test bench which is the unit under test D flip flop module name followed by UUT which is unit under test followed by the inputs and we'll define the inputs initial begin for 100 nanoseconds we'll define the inputs d equals 0 when clock equals 0 for 100 nanoseconds d equals 1 clock equals 1 d equals 0 clock equals 1 d equals 1 and clock equals 0 so we can define any number of inputs according to the inputs we do obtain the particular outputs we have started with the begin we will end the particular statement and next what we do have is the end module so this is the Verilog code and the test bench for the D flip flop which is the data flip flop or the delay flip flop thank you